brothers and sisters, this is uh, Pastor Dan here this morning uh, with devotions again for us uh, from Seeking God's Face uh, by Philip Reinders. Yay. Um, and so I would invite you to just take a moment to uh, yeah, set aside whatever you're doing if you can and uh, listen to God's invitation to us this morning. It comes from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Our Bible song for this morning comes from Psalm 88, verses 1 to 3, and 9b to 11 and 13 to 14. Lord, you are the God who saves me. Day and night I cry out to you. My prayer, may my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry. I am overwhelmed with troubles and my life not, draws near to death. I call to you, Lord, every day. I spread out my hands to you. Do you show your wonders to the dead? Do their spirits rise up and praise you? Is your love declared in the grave, your faithfulness in destruction? I cry to you for help, Lord. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Why, Lord, do you reject me and hide your face from me? Our Bible reading comes from John, the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 14 to 18. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen, this sheep pen, I must bring them in also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me. But I lay it down of my own accord. I have the authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my Father. I think what pops out for me this morning is the reality that Jesus, Jesus understands the psalmist. He willingly lays down his life for people who are suffering and calling out to God day by day so that he can bring them into his sheep pen. People like you and me. Let's pray. Good Shepherd, keep me alert to your unconventional friends and followers wherever they may be found. People of faith who stand against what is wrong and pursue what is right. People who love God and serve their neighbors. People who nail pretense and pride, ego and arrogance. Wherever your church is, make it recognizable by its likeness to Jesus. Amen. Now receive, brothers and sisters, God's blessing today. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us 
what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Be blessed, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.